check out the new Rodent Pro, 10% off on all your frozen rodents. Make sure you use that new code. You can save 10% and Rodent Pro is awesome. Link in the description. And link in the description and like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all those things. And please comment and tell us what you like to see. Please. Please. We, we really appreciate Kevin it. Kevin really likes it. Okay. All right, we've moved this uh, animal plastics cage upstairs. So this is a four foot animal plastics cage. And we actually built this because we want to put our het leucistic male king cobra in this cage. And there's a couple things. So we built the cage and now how are we going to actually outfit it where the animal's comfortable? So the animal right now is living in a freedom breeder rack system with a locking lid and it's starting to outgrow it. So you see this cage, so we have multiple different high, little hide boxes that he actually used to be able to fit in quite well. Then we have a larger hide box and Timmy's got a bunch of uh, places for it to hide. So the setup is internal lighting. We have heat on one side, which is thermostatically controlled. And we're gonna give a King Cobra about a hot spot around 94 degrees. Ambient temperature is about 82. Hot spot would be over here. Room temperature is here. So the animal can thermoregulate. So what I've initially done is I've outfitted this cage with paper. So I'm gonna tell you a couple things that I don't like right off the bat. So basically here I am, I'm using a hide box. Right. I put a couple pieces of cork bark. People have these ideas like, well, you know, the bigger the cage, the better. Well, what this does is this is actually a fair bit of space. So this animal has a large footprint. When you put this animal in here, it's very exposed over here. It's going to want to collect itself over here. And all of this open space is foreign to it. It's vulnerable. It feels vulnerable. So we can basically exacerbate any of its fear aspects, especially when it's first going in a new cage, it doesn't recognize anything. So the animal is going to be really nervous. So I want to do things to bring it down. So generally what I do is I include one of its... Oh, good enrichment. Enrich, this is this is enrich, this is the good side because we're trying to make him friendly because he's a jerk. Yeah. He usually lives with these things oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to omit that. You don't want to put both of them in there and just see what happens? No, he's already evil. Okay. So let me show you another trick. Okay. So we got this big space, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna crumple paper? That crumple seems like a pretty paper. That's some. Uh, that's this some... is actually wonderful. Uh, so what happens when I crumple a paper like this? So let's say the humidity is lacking. And let's say I have only humidity of like thirty percent or something like that. What I can do is I can get enough of these in there, and you want to fill up the space. And each one of these little things is like an area where this animal can come out. It can hide or it can break vision with somebody or some activity in the room so it doesn't have to see it. So if it feels like it's being cryptic, it can hide. But the thing with the humidity, once they get enough of this in here, I can come back with a spray bottle and spray this down. Now the humidity goes up. So I have all this surface area that's accessible to the water and it's gonna turn into a vapor and it's gonna raise the ambient humidity. Uh, one reason why I put the water dish over here, I'm gonna be periodically servicing the water dish and I wanna keep this water clean. So if I, I'm anticipating the snake is gonna live over here in its hide box. So I want the water dish as far away as possible so I can come in and just do my dailies, pull this water dish, uh, replace it with the fresh clean water, but I don't have to worry about the biting bit. This is different looking than our other King Cobras, and we all know who Lilith is, right? Almost. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Here you go. There's a thumbnail too, bro. Guys, can you believe this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am in heaven right now, guys. Oh my gosh. That is... Uh, so Lilith is our blue-eyed leucistic king cobra and potentially the only known living leucistic other than potentially the sire of this animal, but we've really never seen much of this animal because it's not publicly viewable. And Lilith is. So she's the only one that we know of where we actually get to see that she's uh, alive and functioning. 
This animal is uh, growing. He's a little bit of a persnickety animal. We did a video where uh, everybody saw black rat snake. Biting me while being yeah. envenomated. Yeah. So we really want to basically uh, deal with the management of this animal's uh, psyche and keep this animal comfortable. This animal is notorious just to be uh, erratic and very reaction based as far as a lot of jumping around, a little bit of biting, all that stuff. So we're gonna try to move him to this bigger cage to try to bring down his, his uh, um, stress levels, how he interacts with us. So we're gonna work on desensitizing him. So moving him to the animal plastics cage is gonna help him get used to seeing people and we can better focus on him because we really want to get this guy to grow because he does have a female with cystic king cobra awaiting his gonads. We're going to move a little leucistic king cobra, blue-eyed leucistic king cobra, into another cage. We're going to move into an animal plastics four-foot cage that we just set up. We just said we're working on a build video. Of course, we made sure we had uh, mm. enrichment teddy bear in there. And I put and a bunch gone. of crumbled up paper, and look, he goes right into that hide box. See it, Donnie? Yeah, and he's very uninteresting he's, he's, now. <laughs> he's so trained. Well, this is what this is about. That's where he feels safe. We right. want the ant. This is where it comes down to managing the animal's uh, anxiety. All right, Kevin. This is the this is the part where we do an outro. You haven't done one of these in a while. You didn't Don't. do you didn't do one on your last video. <laughs> All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this Animal Plastics uh, build and actually putting in a very expensive, valuable animal that's very special to us at Nerd. But don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join us on twitch.tv. Please subscribe so you can hear the gibberish that comes out of all the nerds and what we talk about and get to know us better and also find yourself some entertainment plus learning about things you can ask us questions and everything like that but we're building a community there as you can see they're really really friendly animals but they're actually really cage defensive at first which means that when you go into their enclosure their environment why do you talk like a robot in front of a camera make sure that if you're watching this twitch stream right now you go leave a critical comment on our youtube video about donnie's filming head ogs grant it back oh there you go i was like there's three options in there i have to see what what really the three are it's so have you seen um, Hot Tub Time Machine? Oh. It's so impossibly black! Good for you! Good, good for good you! Good for you! Dude, this thing is like straight up not having a good time right now. Yeah, it's looking He's really He's like, good. why are you holding me? It's pretty veiny. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Always give us a thumbs up and give us some comments and let's hear your feedback. There's more videos coming and we really, really appreciate your patronage.